Good morning, and we are on week four of 4K. Even though it's a little bit different, you've just been watching me on YouTube. I've been having a great time getting to know you guys through Google Meet and all the wonderful pictures you've been sending me. So thank you so much. Um, so let's start with our circle time calendar. So let's go over the date. I will say it, you will say it. Today is September 21st, 2020. Can you say that with me? Today is September 21st, 2020. Wonderful. All right. It is the first day of school this week. So you remember what day we start school? Let's go over, go over all our days of the week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So what day do we usually start school? Think, think, think. We usually start school on Monday. Yesterday was Sunday. You didn't have school, and today is Monday. Wonderful. So next, I want you to take a second, look out your window, and tell me what the weather is like. All right. Today is kind of a tricky one because it's going to get a little bit warmer later today, but sometimes in the morning it's a little chilly and at night. So during the day you can probably wear your short sleeves, your shorts, your sandals, but in the morning and later you might want to bring your coat in case it gets a little cold. You could wear pants and a short sleeve, or you could probably wear a sweater. So it's kind of a weird time right now. It's in between summer and fall, so sometimes it starts off chilly in the morning, where we're gonna wear our boots and our sweaters. And then by later in the day, you might be taking your sweaters off and being in your long and your short sleeve shirts. So there's lots of things you can wear when the weather's kind of like that. So you have a lot of options right here. I put on sandals, but you can probably do tennis shoes or even boots. All right, now we have a new letter we are focusing on this week. It is this letter. Do any of you already know what this letter is? It's the letter B. So we have an uppercase B and a lowercase B. So we're gonna be learning about the letter B all week. So B makes the B sound. Can you make it with me? B, B. All right, might be a little bit hard to see, but B starts with this, which is a balloon. Can you say balloon with me? So you can hear that beginning sound come out at the beginning of the word. All right, and then we have a butterfly. Wonderful, great job. All right, let's do our rhyming. All right, we have a dog and a frog. Can you say those with me? Dog, frog. You can hear the ending sound, they are rhyming words. Dog, frog, they both have og. All right, next we have our new color this week, which is the color yellow, wonderful. All right, look around, what do you see that's yellow? Do you have any yellow on your clothing? Hmm, I do not have any yellow on my clothing, but I see lots of yellow on here. The butterfly's wings are yellow. This day of the week is yellow. The sunny thing on the wheel is yellow, so lots of yellows. Try and find something that's yellow in your home. All right, and then our shape this week. Hmm, do you know that shape? It has how many sides? Let's count. One, two, three, four. And all four sides are the same. It is a square. So can you find something that's square? Hmm. Let me see, do I have anything on here that's square? Well, these cards are kind of square. Well, actually they're a little rectangle. They have longer and shorter. Sometimes it's a little hard to find a square that has four of the same sides. So let me see if you can find something that is shaped like a square today. Look around your home and look for that square shape. All right, and then in our gumball machine, after number one, which we did last week, we have the number two. Wonderful. 
Can you show me two fingers? Great job. Can you clap two times? One, two. There are lots of things on your body that you have two of. What are some things you have two of on your body? I have two hands. What else? Two eyes, two legs, two feet. We have lots of twos on our body. So if my number today is the number two, how many gumballs am I gonna put on my gumball machine? Right, two, so count with me. One, two, excellent. All right, we're gonna get into our movement activity and get our wiggles out so our brains are ready for the day. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going on a bear hunt. Take pictures with my camera. Take pictures with my camera. Open up the door, squeak. Open up the door, squeak. Walk down the road. Walk down the road. Coming to a wheat field. Coming to a wheat field. Can't go under it. to walk through it. Have to walk through it. Got through the wheat field. Got through the wheat field. Coming to a bridge. Coming to a bridge. Can't go under it. Can't go under it. Have to walk over it. Have to walk over it. Got over the bridge. Got over the bridge. Coming to a tree. Coming to a tree. Can't go under it. Can't go under it. Guess we'll have to climb it. Guess we'll have to climb it. Climb to the top. Climb to the top. Do you see a bear? Do you see a bear? No. No. Let's climb down. Let's climb down. Coming to a river. Coming to a river. Can't go under it. Can't go under it. Can't fly over it. Can't fly over it. Let's get in the boat. Let's get in the boat. Got across the river. Got across the river. Coming to a cave. Coming to a cave. Can't go under it. Can't go under it. Can't go over it. Can't go over it. Tiptoe inside. Tiptoe inside. It's dark in here. It's dark in here. Is anyone around? Is anyone around? I see two eyes. I see two eyes. And a big furry body. And a big furry body. Let's take a p -p 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 picture. Let's take a p -p 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 picture. Run! It's a bear! Run! It's a bear! Back to the river. Row the boat across. Run to the tree. Climb up. Climb down. Run to the bridge. 
cross it, run through the wheat field, run down the road, open up the door, squeak, and close it. Let's go on a bear hunt.